Hi, welcome to uh, mcbosscapital.com. Today we're just going to do a quick uh, brief on the market right now. Um, as of Friday, April, April 29, uh, 2022, um, the market uh, closed very weak and both NASDAQ and Russell 2000 confirmed the bear market rally because um, the index cut, in the, cut the intraday low of March 14, 2022 and S&P 500 is also close to undercutting this low and Dow Jones still a little bit away from that low so let's take a quick look here so you can see here we have an undercut this is March 14 low and we have an undercut right here this week and um, you know fell below it on Tuesday Wednesday, it rebound really strong on Thursday. Um, in fact, it was a pretty big gain that day, um, 3%. But then on Friday, uh, you know, it's hard to believe it, but it gave it all back. And now uh, it was down 4%, over 4%. And so we're here, new low here. And this is a very ugly picture right now, just because... Um, you can see here, um, you know, it's it's a no man's land right now. Uh, there's no more support area for a long time. And it goes as far back as like right here. And that's about uh, March 5th, 2021. So there's a low here, 12, 397. Um, here we have three, 12, 315. So we have undercut it. Um, so now, you know, this is the level we're at right now. And you can see a big round number here, 12,000. So it's, uh, it's more likely that we are going to get challenged here at this 12,000 level. Um, you know, and if we go back to uh, S&P, you can see it also made a new low. So that's also not ideal. So obviously right now, um, we can see the 10 day slope really sharp and that's definitely not normal. So, um, you know, I don't expect it to go down really far from here unless there's some something that's unexpected happen in the next few days. Um, but there's a high chance, you know, that there's more likely to rebound because it's, this slope is really, you know, really oversell type of slope, right? So um, there's a higher chance to rebound somehow and, and that it will bounce above this slope. You know, it doesn't mean it will uh, go up from here. Um, I mean, that, that that depends on what Fed will say this week on their policy meeting on Wednesday. But, you know, there's nothing that is uh, surprising. You know, we everyone's expecting a 0.5% interest rate hike and most likely even higher the next month, like June, you know, from anywhere from 50 point basis points to even 75 basis points. So unless there's something that is unaccounted for, then yeah, you know. But I do expect a bounce here because uh, we are we are in you know we're in oversold condition that's the 21 day line so so somewhere in between here it will be trading in the next uh next week or two so um i hope that it can stabilize in this zone somewhere between this zone it might go down further like even close to 4000 i'm not sure but you know we want to see stabilization in this zone right here we can stick around two weeks around here then that's a good sign. Um, then we, then I'm hoping for some bounce like somewhere around here. So we have seen this last week uh, another big drop in the market. So that's uh, it's already been confirmed as one of the worst month. April is the one of the most worst month since the pandemic. Um, so that's not good news. Also the correction right now since. Uh, so for Nasdaq and Russell, they both hit new lows since November 22nd, 2021 for Nasdaq, 24% correction. For Russell, 
since November 8, also a 24% correction. They're all below their 50 days moving average, so that's really bearish sign, obviously. Um, also, the round numbers psychology is uh, it's actually quite severe because um, they have dropped significantly in the last two weeks. So um, there are some analysts who think S&P 500 will hit below 4,000 to, uh, you know, and even at 4,000, it's not quite 20% correction yet, but it, it's very close. It's like it, it, close to 19% correction. Um, and not sure would that happen, but it could. Right now, we are at 4,131, so it's not that far away from it. So like one bad day, we could reach that 4,000 level. Um, in terms of accumulation distribution, there is really overwhelming distribution in the last few weeks. Uh, it had, nothing has changed. Um, you can see the number of distributions stocks and the distribution and what is accumulation. And there's there's some accumulation, but the, you know it's really on hindsight just uh, you know a small batch of stocks versus uh, there there's lots of industry groups and sec, you know that are being hammered right now. Um, so we haven't seen a bottom yet, and that's the that's the problem. Uh, we continue to see lots of selling. Every time the market moves up a little bit, it get knocked down. So Thursday action confirmed, uh, you know, we are in a bear market rally. Like Thursday and Friday's action, because Thursday was a was a strong up day, and and then Friday, uh, we had a bad down day. Like you know, this is called really a big ugly reversal. So, like I said. It won't be surprising now to see it hit 4,000 just like this. Um, and that could trigger a lot of fear. And that may be a good thing to end this correction if that shakens out everybody who's a weak investor and only long term investors are left. Then there's no one left to try to sell the market, right? So, um, in general, that means, you know, we could potentially start our. Uh, building a new rally, right? So that's my hope. Uh, let's see what's going to happen in May. Um, but I don't expect this to happen, you know, right away. But like I said, we are a little, quite a little bit oversold now, but doesn't mean it won't sell a little bit more because right now we are in panic zone uh, in the area that there is no, there's no support whatsoever. That's usually when the market can drop the fastest. So uh, dropping, you know, even five percent from here can can happen really fast. So so um so just be aware of that. Um so we won't be talking much about stocks today just because the market is really undergoing such a you know, you can even see this this curve that's curving down and you know is is really uh a really drastic drop right now and it feels like it's trying to reach a capitulation of just getting all the weak investors out right now. Um, so so this is the target uh, that that we might see in the next week or two. So uh, let's see what's going to happen. Okay, thanks for uh, subscribe, uh, watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And you can subscribe to uh, McBoss Capital. Thank you.